Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We, uh, Spinarak in the Purified Chamber is ready to pur be purified, but we're going to talk to Net first. Are you okay? You got us out of that jam. But not all the data analyzed was finished. Those Cypher creeps. So, from what we ma did manage to decrypt, a part of Cypher's criminal plans became clear. Cypher was behind the disappearance of the cargo ship SS Libra, and we saw that at the beginning of the game. There's more. Cypher is planning a major attack on Fennec City. Marsh has gone off to Fennec City. She said she was going to investigate why the town's communication systems are down. Cypher could attack there at any time. We need your help. Please, could you inform the mayor of Fennec City about Cypher's coming attack? is east of here. Let them know about Cypher's attack plan as soon as possible. Well, well, I got some stuff I gotta go do first. Alright, so we can come down here. We'll heal up. There we go. Okay, so then we can go down the, uh, down the elevators. Alright, nothing of note here. Okay. Now, is he still on the ground? He is not. Amazing, they pulled a caper on the scale so brazenly in broad daylight. If this incident is any indication, it appears si certain that Cypher will become even more active in the days to come. No, there were a lot of them, but we shouldn't have looked, been that unprepared. I was giving Chief Sherless here a rundown of the events. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Agate and uh, purify the Del Caddy that we have in our party. Then we'll go back to the Poke Lab and purify any of those that are uh, in the chamber, which I think right now it's only the spinner rack. Nope. There we go. Alright. Good walking. Oh, the, um... The nature for Voltorb. Docile. Does absolutely nothing. No ups, no downs. Purely neutral nature. Or naturally neutral nature. Gosh, try saying that five times fast. Naturally neutral nature. Naturally neutral nature. Naturally neutral nature. That's hard, actually. <laughs> Alright, so we have Del Caddy, and we're going to purify uh, it. So, boom. There we go. Alright, we got a ribbon, secret power, and sweet kiss. Alright, we gained a ribbon, and I'm not going to nickname it, because we're not going to use it. Uh... The, the way that a Del Caddy works is normally it would evolve from a Skitty. And um, you would choose when to evolve the Skitty because Skitty evolves by a Moonstone. Um, because the Del Caddy is already evolved, um, you don't get the choice as to when to evolve it. And um, when you evolve by a stone, 99% of the Pokemon that evolve by a stone stop learning moves. Uh, once you evolve them. So. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put... We're gonna put Del Caddy... You're taking a while. We're gonna put Del Caddy in you. Alright, and so Del Caddy's gonna go there to help that. And we're gonna put the Duskull in here. Nope. Not with me. Duskull in set 8. 
and I do want to look at it real quick. Defense and special defense, I mean, I, I can't really tell if anything there is off just by looking at it. We'll grab the Mawile and put it in set 9. Forty-nine for the attack power. That's actually pretty good. And again, here I don't really know if anything is like too off-putting to look at. Oh no no no. Uh oh, we can just do Pokemon storage. We got a Twisted Spoon, which helps with um, psychic type moves. And we now get a Routes in our party. And so what we're probably going to end up doing is we'll purify the spinner rack and then we'll end up, uh, I don't know, we'll do something. I gotta figure it out. I should have just taken the spinner rack out and purified it there. God, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, the extra walking and stuff here isn't horrible. Okay. All right, so we'll go in here. There we go. All right, and we're gonna purify the spinner rack. Which, look, we already have two that are very close to being purified. All right, spinner rack relearns. Dig, interesting, and refresh. All right, obtained a ribbon. No, because we're not going to use it. Transferred to there. All right, so what we're going to do, let's, we're going to move some stuff around. So we're going to move this to, uh, let's see. How do I want to do this, exactly? That would help. We should probably get, uh... Something around one of these two. I want to, I want to see what I have, though. Ground type, steel and ghost, huh? Nothing there. Nothing there. Mm, oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. So we'll put that here. Move this to here. There we go. And uh, that's... I do have, what, two around this one? So we'll move that here. And move the fan pee here. Now, do I... I don't have two around all of them, right? I only have one. No, I do have two here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do... I have two here, huh? I'm going to move this to here, I think. And then we're actually going to be... Oh, I have spinner rack. That's right. No, go back to set one. Okay, so spinner rack. That's pretty good. That's sort of okay. That's sort of okay. That's a nice round one right now. There we go. Oh, and we will. What did I just put in here? Oh. Uh, we will do... We're actually going to put the Voltorb in. There. And we'll be... We'll be open a Pokemon for... Or open a slot for uh, a wild Pokemon if we end up uh, encountering one. Okay, where were we going to go? Fennec? I think there's still something in Pirate that we need to do, though.
I'm actually surprised that our Poke stops haven't or Poke spots haven't a uh, rang. Duke can finally return, but now he's closeting himself in the back room where he's busy at work preparing Poke snacks. Working with a secret traditional recipe for making Poke snacks, he wants to make Poke snacks available in shops so anyone can buy them. You're the lad that I met at the Poke Stop. Have you been keeping busy catching yourself some wild Pokemon? If you manage to catch any of the rare Pokemon, bring them to me. Maybe you have a Trap Inch, Surf Skit, or Wooper. We had a Trap Inch and I knocked it out. Uh, I do not. Catch any rare Pokemon at a Poke Stop, be sure to come show me. And do you say anything else? I'm going to have Duking sell my Poke Stacks and for, through shops. After this, you'll be able to buy my Poke Snacks where, whenever I need. Awesome. I should be able. Do we have a shop here? Yeah, we do. Right here. So, am I able to uh, buy them now? Alright. Ooh, and we got uh, Pokeballs and Great Balls. Awesome. Alright, and Poke Snacks. I'm just gonna buy a good chunk. Yes. Uh, and we'll get a couple more great balls. There. That's better. Better for catching Pokemon. Okay. A lot of setup in this uh, episode, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go to. Uh, this poke spot, and we're gonna max this one out. There we go. So that is full. We haven't put any down on this one. Okay. And then we should be able to... I think we're missing like two or three from this one. Looks like we're missing two. There we go. So now we're full. We have extra snacks for in case we encounter wild Pokemon or like a Munchlax or something. So to Fennec City it is. Uh, the first town that we encountered in the first game. Welcome to Fennec, and hooray, congratulations! Incredible as it may seem, you're exactly the one millionth visitor to Fennec. In commemoration, please accept this, a disc case which already comes with some battle CDs. Alright, disc case. Battle CD 1. Battle CD 7, and Battle CD 20. Okay, you should take that to the real Gam Tower next to the town. Go, go, go! Uh, it's a short ways away to the northwest. You'll see it right away. The Rogam Tower is a top battling facility where trainers can enjoy battle sims, among other events, using battle CDs. Off you go, have a good time. And they kick us out. <laughs> so we gotta go to, we gotta go to real Gam. What is it with these battle CD things? Pokemon appear alright, but when the battle ends, they just fade away. You don't get to keep them? Oh, sheesh. I dropped all my secret savings into them because I thought I'd get rare Pokemon for real. There goes money down the proverbial drain. Let's get out of here. What do we do with these battle CD things? What good are they if they won't give us any Pokemon? Just toss them out somewhere. Alright, and we'll deal with that later. Oh, look, an item. Ooh, a protein! I'll take it. Uh, this is Rogam Tower. It's the summit of battling. Let's see. There are the Colosseum battles, battle sims, and battle bingo. So many choices, I can't decide what kind of battle I should try. I'm supposed to keep quiet about it, but I was the one millionth visitor of Fennec City. Really? So someone in Fennec gave me a battle CD as a memento. Well, 
Do you, don't you think that's lucky? I intend to stay around here for some more good times. Hmm. Something's fishy. Wow, I can never get over how tall this place is. On top of the tower is a coliseum. I'd love to take part in coliseum battles, but I'm afraid of heights. Alright, well, let's go in deeper. Why not? And then, uh, and then deeper. Okay, so here, here are the things that like we ended up having to put in at one point. Um, oh, there's an item right here. Ooh, a carbos. Okay, so there's a Pokemon Center over here. Battling bingo or in the battle bingos and excite exciting challenge. How should I say this? It's fun because it makes you think about the types of Pokemon you may face. Alright. Well, we don't need to heal up right now, so... Okay, and then what do we got over here? Pokemart. Which we can buy a couple of TMs. Quite a bit of TMs. Hyper Potions, Full Heals, and Revives. Sure. Four of those, and one of these. There. We're at no money. Okay, so... Let's head up. Okay, so there's a bunch of pseudo wudos. We have when we real Graham Tower, the pride of Fennec City. It is a fully integrated facility dedicated to battling. Players may take in Coliseum battles, battle sims, and battle bingo. Sincerely hope you enjoy your heart's content. All of that we have to offer. Also, you can earn Poke coupons here. They can be exchanged at Mount Battle for items and TMs. I'm not saying battle sims aren't fun. They are, but I prefer doing things for real. Mount Battle's more my style. Let me tell you what I'm striving right now. A non-stop 100 trainer run through Mount Battle. Oh, God. I don't rightly know if my Pokemon or I have the willpower to gut it out, but it's something that I will do one of these days. You're blocking my path. Get out of my way. Sweet! Ultra Ball. The mayor in Fennec City used to drop in pretty much every day, but I haven't seen him around for some while now. I hope he's not sick or anything. Welcome to the Real Game Tower. Unfortunately, I must inform you that the Coliseum is undergoing maintenance. Please do come back and make a challenge when we are open. Pokestop. Yes. Let's go find a wild Pokemon. See what we get. In fact, we have to go through all these dumb doors. Alright, out of my way, other one millionth visitor. Oh, actually, so let, let's test my theory, because I mentioned this like two videos ago. So if we do PDA, and we look at the spot monitor, okay, it's the Oasis Poke Spot. So it does show uh, which one it is. Alright, and what are we going to find? <gasps> yeah, Surskit! I'll take it. Assuming we don't knock it out. <laughs> okay, Bug Water, it's level 16. I'm going to switch to Buggy. Yeah, quick attack's fine. Paralyze yourself, though. That'd be nice. Perfect. And we'll use... a Pokeball. Beep. 
beautiful. Right on the nose. Uh, no nickname to Sirske. I also just have to take a look, too, because I do not know. Alright, Sirskit. Uh, that's not a shiny Sirskit. Oh, I can, uh, refill the Poke Spot. Oh, but there's another Poke Spot. Okay. And if we do PDA, take a look. It's the rock one. Our map's getting quite nicely filled out. Alright, what do we encounter? Another sand true. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, the more wild Pokemon we end up getting, uh, the better, because we, uh, they, we can use them for purification. And I believe this is also not a shiny one. I say that like I'm actually gonna encounter a shiny, but... I know I'm not going to. Okay, we should be able to Pokeball this. Alright. Sandshrew was caught. Nope. That'll go to the PC storage. Pull up our Poke Snack again. And we'll head back to the real game tower. Beautiful. Alright, so when we come back, uh, we are going to be doing some uh, real game tower stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you then.